Hello everyone, uh, myself Kiran Sakre. I am from Coefficient Engineering team. In this demo, I will showcase configuring IIS with Coefficient 10. Before configuring IIS with Coefficient 10, you need to enable few options at the IIS. These options you can locate in the application development features. The options needs to be enabled are ASP, CGI, ISCP extensions and ISCP filter. Once you enable this option, you can configure IIS with Coefficient in two modes during installation or using the WS config tool. You can locate the WS config tool in CVision runtime bin folder. Once you open the WS config tool, you will have an option to add the connector. Once I select the add option in the WS config tool, you will see the configurations. The first configuration in this is application host. This tells you where your server is running. If you are configuring the connector, with the server which is which are in the same machine you need to provide the host name of the machine for this configuration i am telling it's a local host if your server is in a remote machine you need to give the host of the remote machine next configuration is a cluster this drop down lists you all the clusters that you created in the coefficient next property is a web server this option allows you to select the connector that you want to configure as i'm configuring is i'll select the is the next option, next configuration is websites. This lists you all the websites. Because I'm configuring for all the sites, I'll select the all site. Next configuration is a configure 32 bit web server. This option needs to be enabled when you are configuring a site which is running in 32 bit application pool. Once you select the advanced option, you will see verbose logging enable. This option needs to be enabled when you are trying to generate the verbose logging for all the requests. This needs to be used only during debugging purpose, should not be enabled in the production. Enable buffering is another option which by default enabled. This allows IS to buffer the response. Eventually it has a performance gain, but CF flush, if your application use, uses a CF flush, this option needs to be disabled. Other configurations are connection pool configurations. This here we have something called reuse, con reuse connections. It is set to 250, this needs to be tuned based on your load on your server. There is also idle connections which is by default disabled. This also needs to be tuned based on your load on your server. Once you configure the IS with Coefficient, Coefficient will generate connector files. These connector files can be located in Coefficient home directory config WS config folder. These, can, these are the connector files. The first file is icpreader.dll. This is a connector file which will be loaded in the IIS. Next file is icpreader.log file. This is a log file where all the verbose logs are generated. icpreader.property file. This contains the connector configuration properties like log file path and the connector path. URI worker.property file is another configuration file. In this, it stores all the file extensions and the mappings that Coefficient handles. Similarly, there is uh, one more file called worker.property file. This contains uh, information about the worker which handles the Coefficient request. Here, CFusion is a worker which handles the request and it has the properties like type, host, port and the max reuse connection. Even similarly, this configuration will is applicable for standalone for cluster info cluster setting this list will contain this worker dot list contains all the workers that will be talking to the multiple servers now we will go to the is where all the configuration changes are done by the is configuration tool the first change it does is adds a connector module into the icp cg restrictions this is the connector entry made into the icp cg restrictions once you configure each website will have a virtual directory created because I configure for all the site. All the site will have a virtual directory created. See, the CFID and the Jakarta are the two virtual directory which are created. The Jakarta is a pointing to the folder where all the connector files are placed. Similarly, IS configuration also adds a mappings which tells you all, which are the file extension needs to be handled by the connector like CFM, CFC, these are the file extension that Coefficient and connector handles. Along with that, it also adds a ICFA filter entry, which tells you this is the ICFA module, which handles a Coefficient request. That is all for this demo. Thank you for listening.